Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Stories with Morales. My name is Christian. And before we get started, let me let me tell you guys that this video today is brought to you by Balmore and Company. If you guys are looking to buy, sell, or refinance your home, please give a call to Sergio Mendez and Paulina Mendez at 949-903-6280. They will help you find the dream house. Okay? And another thing, today's show does come with a disclaimer. Okay, today's show is we are gonna talk about how our parents used to discipline us growing up. But please understand that we are not promoting any type of child abuse. We're not promoting any type of child endangerment. We understand that that topic is very sensitive, okay? But please, please do not take this as a, as a topic of, wow, you used to be abused and no, nothing like that, okay? We understand that the, the difference between discipline and child abuse, it's a gray line, but the last time I checked, there's 50 shades for us to talk about it. Okay, so please understand that this is not what this is about. Let's get started. Growing up, last you know, as last week as I said, if I I wanted I wanted to you guys to know how my mom used to treat us, you know, growing up, and how what they do, what they what she did to discipline us. Now. More, you know, for those of you who grew up with a single parent, they had a lot of work, right? They became mom and dad. And I can't relate to that, so I can't tell you how it feels. Um, but I can tell you how my mom and dad, used, how used, they used to discipline us. And how I disciplined my children, okay? Now, I've interviewed and i talked to a lot of people how to, to get this kind of pop, to, to get this topic, okay? To be able to understand how was it that we are becoming this generation of being so sensitive? Is it our generation? Is it, you know, millennials that are making our children sensitive? And I don't know the other generation that they're millennials, so I'm not even going to disrespect you guys. So I do apologize for that. So growing up, you know, I have two older brothers, as you guys know. I got two older brothers, and I understand that they probably got the worst out of it, Okay. I understand that at some point when we misbehaved, they were um, they were spanked. Okay, I remember I remember my mom was always always going up about you know at parties, family parties. It was always like you can't go, you can't go spend the night at your cousin's house. Okay, you can you can don't ask for food because you already ate, right? And it was funny because every time we would go ahead and do that, I wouldn't ask my mom, hey, can I go spend the night over at my cousin's house, right? It was always, hey, hey, Alan, can you go ask her? Can you go ask her? Because my, my cousin would go, why me, man, why me? Bro, she won't say no to you. You're right. She won't say no to him. But you know what I will get? I will get the look. Now, you guys, you guys growing up, Tell me in the comments, did you mom have a look? Did you guys know one way that you guys like, ooh, I know I'm going to get away with this and I know I'm going to be able to do what I want. But when I come back home, you're going to get your butt whooped. Right? For my mom, my mom was the look. And, 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 and mom, perdón, si me está viendo, yo no me la he visto. She'll be like this. she look. But she wouldn't say nothing, right? Now, did my cousin know that? No. My cousin didn't know that there was a look. It's pretty, I'm pretty sure he knew his mom had a look, but he did not know the look that my mom had. Now, I asked my brother, hey, you know, I know that me and my sister, we had, we had a lot easier than you guys, right? He goes, ah, oh, of course you did. I'm like, well, don't agree. <laughs> you know, it's not my fault you were born first. He goes, my mom used to be able to hit us Palm, straight palm, right here. Straight palm, just out the back. Boom. He goes, you knew you messed up, right? Again, does it, does it make it wrong? I, I mean, like, I, like I'm saying, right? I know they were being hit. I used to be spanked by a belt if I misbehave. I remember being spanked by a belt, me and my sister, because we were misbehaving. And my sister, me and my sister would just laugh. We would just laugh. And my mom would just keep going harder, right? Like, my mom was like, oh, you want to laugh? You want something to laugh? 
it was just Mac was with the belt, right? And that whole discipline that we've had, my brothers, myself, you guys, um, at some point, you guys be like, well, yeah, my parents hit me. But it made me the person I am today, right? Like, you know what's wrong and what's right. And now you are, you're programmed to that sort of thing. Now, Lugo over here made a great point. You end up making, you, you end up going about, you see, you, you see your children. And you don't want to be like your parents. You do not want to be like your parents. You want to avoid being your parents. Because why? Because you live through that. Right, you live through the whole point of being your parents, and you're like, I'm never gonna be like them. But guess what? You can't avoid it. Lugo made it right. You are pre-programmed to this type of things, and I, now that I have two children, I see it. Like I scream at my kids. I discipline my kids. Not the same way, possibly not the same way my parents used to. But I don't make them grow up to believing that everyone's a winner. Today's generation, the kids of today, right, grow up with thinking or believing that they're able to get a participation trophy for what? Losing? If my kid, believe, if my kid is growing up thinking that it's okay to lose, then I'm doing a wrong, I'm doing a, a bad job. Me and my wife are doing the worst job ever. He needs to accept losses. Yes. Because you don't win every time. And I understand this. And I'm trying to make it clear a bit. Because I know that if the way I'm doing these videos. I know for a fact that maybe it may not work. And it may not blow up the way I want it. But if I was a person or a kid of today. If it didn't blow up the way I wanted. Or if it didn't go the way I wanted. At the end of this, by the time I say, you know what, I'm giving up, I would like YouTube to send me and be like, thank you for trying. But I'm not like that. Lugo's not like that. My brother's not like that. And I'm pretty sure you guys are not like that. Do we thank our parents the way that they disciplined us and the way that they hit us, they spanked us, they yelled at us, they gave us the look? At the end of the day, you thank them for what they have done. And I know, maybe I'm wrong, and give me in the comments, all right? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm all, I'm all for, a, for a debate here. Correct me if I'm wrong. I know some people will be like, well, I've never spanked my children. Hey, that's okay. That's totally okay. But you were strict enough. Your son, is, your, son your daughter are not in the wrong path, not because you hit them. But because you were strict enough to realize, hey, this is how I need you to be. These, there's rules. And we can't be hypocrites. We all broke the rules that our parents gave us. They were meant to be broken. I, and, I, and I'm sorry to sound like a broken record, but we keep going to the same thing. We keep thanking our parents for the way that they raised us. Again, we're not promoting child abuse or anything like that. And we understand that those people right there are wrong. But a child sometimes needs a good spank on the butt to realize, calm the F down. I understand that sometimes it, it does get hard. And I, sometimes I do spank, you know, spank my kids. Spank, okay? Understand the difference between spank and beating the out of your kids. Okay, understand the difference in that. And I'm not trying to get political here, and I'm not trying to get anything nowhere near that. I'm going to avoid all that. But understand. I, I, I. Tell me in the comments. Tell me, let me know in your comments what punishment did your parents give you, and, and you go, and now you're thinking like, wow, my parents, they were right all along. Like, you know how long, you know how hard it is for me to tell my mom, hey, you're, you're right. Like I see my, when I discipline my kid, my mom goes, don't yell at him. I'm like, excuse me? Don't yell at him? You just yelled at me last week. You know? And she goes, well, I'm going to yell at you to the age of 80. I'm like, then I'm going to yell at my kid to the age of 80. <laughs> you know? Our parents 
we were, and I know where I've talked about our parents because I talked about it in the last video. If you can look up here, we talked about our videos right here about the, the, the latest MVPs. I know our parents are, the, are our heroes. Our parents are everything to us. And if you grew up in a foster home, if you grew up with stepmom, lucky you. Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Lucky you. If you grew up with a stepmom, step, you know, stepfather, whatever, they're your, at the end of the day, they're your parents. Whoever walked away from your life, biologically, they're your dad. Again, I can't talk on this topic because I don't know it. I can, I can relate to it, and I can't. I don't have an opinion to it. But all I can say is, give thanks to those who have taught you how to be, who have taught you how to become the person you are today. Those are the ones that matter. Whether your parents hit you, spanked you, hit you with the belt, okay. Look, before I let you go, I remember, I remember one one story. Okay, um, I remember uh, they were building. We were build, They were remodeling our home. We were they were remodeling our home in Mexico, and there was a pile of cement, like wet cement, on the floor. And we had a, a door that was made of you know a little glass on the on the on the panels. It was glass panels. I was playing soccer. I was practicing to be the greatest soccer player of all time, and now uh, look at me now. It didn't work out, right? And I remember I kicked it, and I felt like I scored a goal because it went through the door, and all of a sudden you hear, crash, window splashing, right? Now, at this point, my mom had bought, my, they had sent me some shoes from the Norte. Now, by the way, now growing up that I grew up in the U.S., I figured that the shoes that they sent me from the, the States over to Mexico, I know they came from Ross, okay? These were in Gucci's. They came from Ross, or TJ Maxx, or possibly uh, Marshalls. And I'm not promoting. I'm just believing that that's where the shoes is, because that's what we sent <laughs> to Mexico. And I kick the ball. I break the window. And my mom gets the belt and starts like, Hijo de tu ching. It starts chasing me. Now, I already broke the window. At that point, I, you know what I did? I stepped on the wet cement. El cemento fresco. Woo! I got an ass whooping on my life. Because the shoes were brand new. The window was brand new. I mean, I can't even show you. Because <laughs> this is not that kind of YouTube channel. And I don't have an only. But follow me on my OnlyFans and I'll show you. <laughs> subscribe mm? to OnlyFans. Yeah, subscribe to my OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you things that you may never want to see. You will be unable to. to oh, I don't know. For sure, you will have nightmares. I mean, for sure. And I know you guys have noticed I shaved my beard, but I was growing hair. Explain to them what that is, what in your terms. <sighs> my cousin has a beautiful beard. It looks legit. And my shit looks like hair. Now, for all of you, those who have hair, look, no shame. You can't see the answer, but you feel it. Now I'm getting off topic. Now look, the well, regardless. Some topics, look at <laughs> you, get, you get your <laughs> beat, and then you have <laughs> Yeah, but who doesn't like a good <laughs> talk? Hey, tell me in the comments if you guys says no, no, just kidding. Don't tell me you guys an <laughs> so man. Don't, 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 don't tell me that. Keep that to yourselves. The PG channel. You're like DM me later. Yeah, <laughs> but but do but do DM me. We can we can have a conversation. Regardless of all how our parents treated us, I'm very proud of how my parents raised me. Madre, si me está viendo. And put your subtitles on, people. Please. Because this message is from my mom. Madre, si me está viendo. Jefe. Gracias por todo lo que hicieron y como nos crearon. Por ustedes, nosotros somos como somos. One thing I did love talking to my dad about was sports. But you know what? See you guys that next week. See you later, guys. Have fun. Are you taking over my show? Mm -hmm. Why? I don't like running Sonic. You're gonna run like, no, you can't run like Sonic anymore. So, what are you doing? <laughs> this is my show. <laughs> no, not mine. It's your show? Mm-hmm. <laughs> says who? It says me. <laughs>
Because mommy. Uh, mommy says it's your show? Okay, it's story time with Miranda. Uh, story time with Miranda. Michael. Hey, count it. Count it. We can't say the other one because it's copyrighted and it makes it sued. Copyright infringement? Yeah, I ain't gonna say get Say bye, sued. guys. Bye, guys. We'll see you later. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Say, say, don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, subscribe. Yeah, don't forget. Say, don't forget. And? And? Subscribe. Subscribe. And like. And like. <laughs>